Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. I'm Matt, and here are the top stories. In its latest deal, Total Energies UK has bought a gas-fired power plant for £450 million. The deal will see Total Energies take control of West Burtonby, a gas-fired power plant in Nottinghamshire, UK. It has a combined energy output of 1.3 gigawatts and supplies power to around 1.8 million homes. With more renewable capacity set to come online, the company has estimated that it will only need 700 megawatts of gas-based power generation and plans on divesting 50% of its output capacity from West Burton. The latest figures published by Wind Energy Ireland show Ireland's wind farms provided 35% of the country's electricity over the first five months of 2024. For the first time since Wind Energy Ireland started publishing data at a county level, Cork took the top spot as the country's leading wind energy source, pushing Kerry from the top. The monthly report follows the launch of its Get Out in the Wind campaign, encouraging people to celebrate Irish wind farms throughout June by opening them to the public at no cost. State-owned energy firm Saudi Aramco is in talks with US firms Tellurian and Next Decade on two separate LNG projects. Aramco seeks to strengthen its position in the LNG market, which is set to grow globally by 50% over the next six years. They are one of the world's largest oil producers and top exporters, pumping nearly 10% of the world's crude supply. The FDA approved the world's first pneumococcal disease vaccine for adults. Each year, more than 150,000 adults in the US are hospitalized with the disease, which has a 14% fatality rate for those hospitalized. Merck's Capvaxiva vaccine has been specifically adapted to help protect people aged 50 and older. The 21 serotypes it covers account for 84% of the pneumococcal disease of this age group. Duke Energy and the Department of Defense have joined forces to use clean energy to power five North and South Carolina military installations. The unlikely duo's contract is valued at $248 million and will provide an estimated 135 megawatts and 4.8 million megawatt hours of electricity over a 15-year delivery period. The sites are expected to be operational by September 2026. And finally, Australian researchers, led by Monash University, have invented a new artificial intelligence tool that could be vital in screening early-stage drug discovery and identifying potential new medicines. The invention Psychic combines computing technology and drug discovery to offer an entirely new approach. The study, published in Nature Machine Intelligence, demonstrates how it used sequenced DNA and AI to decode protein-molecule interactions with precise accuracy while eliminating the need for costly and less accurate processes, such as 3D structures. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Furcroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our Engineering News Roundup.